How we doing guys? So here we are in our 10th week of the class and this week I will be returning to you all your MLA research essays on your persuasive argumentative topic um, and then I will continue apace with my grading, uh, the classification division uh, exercises, um, the uh, the discussion board on is there a formula for a good book that'll all come uh, after but I'm gonna get that paper done for you guys uh, this week uh, and now we move on to uh, really kind of the the heartbeat of the second half of the course which is revisiting our old essays making the changes that are either suggested to you through your rubric score uh, or things that I've outright told you uh, in the comments to change, okay? Uh, if you make those changes and submit that to me, okay, and there's a, a spot for submitting it, what I will do is I'll give you half credit back on your original narrative, okay? So let's say you got an 80 on your original narrative, okay? And let's say I said things like, uh, infuse your writing with more uh, sights, sounds, you know, make, make it come to life more, maybe add some more scenes in there with people actually doing things rather than just kind of giving these abstract descriptions, actually have people uh, talking to each other maybe or uh, illustrating a scene, making it come to life. Whatever it was, let's say you fixed all that stuff. Well, your 80 now becomes a 90, okay? And then I'm going to take that 90 and I'm going to average that with your original score, an 80 in this case. I'm going to combine them and average them, and then your new score will be an 85. Okay, so this is a this is going to boost your uh, essays ideally if you actually do the work and fix them. Okay, so I'm going to count the submission itself, and if you guys look, uh, this is all going to be in our shell five, uh, week ten. And uh, you will submit that in here for an assign a classwork assignment, okay? Uh, so the submission itself will count as a classwork assignment. Then I read it. I determine whether or not you've made the corrections. I give you half credit back. Then I take that, average it with your original grade, and then that gives you your new grade, okay? So kind of a chain of grades here. Uh, classwork homework submission just for submitting the redone uh, edited narrative essay, okay? Give you half credit back, average that with your original score, that gives you your new score, okay? So the new, what I call the augmented, meaning added to, uh, maybe increased, and edited, okay, meaning made, making your fixes, narrative essay, uh, that's due, and then we have a journal as well. So the journal this week is on classification and division. And what I ask you all to do is to kind of uh, throughout the week, so throughout Wednesday and next Tuesday, um, see if you could kind of uh, look at your life and frame it in terms of using the classification division mode of discourse. So walk me through a day in your life. Where have you used this classification and division uh, mode in order to make sense of something? Okay. So we do this all the time. We always subdivide uh, our life into smaller parts, right? In order to understand it better. So maybe this morning when I was um, trying to decide what to wear to school today, well, I, I grouped my wardrobe, right? I put it in terms of, you know, things that are weather appropriate, okay? It's kind of a cool day here in Florida highs in the 60s so not terribly cool uh, also I'm being uh, or I was uh, evaluated by my principal today so I wanted to pick something that I thought would make me look upstanding and well put together okay and something I like too so I chose my classic uh, kind of uh, uh, flannel green uh, shirt here um, and chose my pants uh, that match my shirt and all that stuff. So in order to make that decision, I had to group, classify, and divide my uh, items in my wardrobe in order to come to an ultimate decision. So if I were writing my journal, I'd probably describe that very uh, activity, okay? 
So, uh, and that's 150 words, uh, two paragraphs, 150 words, about 75 words a paragraph. Uh, journal, redo your narrative, okay? You do that. If, if, if you don't, let, let's say you don't do it, okay? Well, number one, you, your old score remains the same, but you also get a zero for the homework assignment, which is turning in the new narrative, okay? Uh, and, and don't just go, you know, look at your original essay and say, ah, the heck with it. I'm just going to throw his way the same thing, okay? I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just going to submit my old one and hope he doesn't notice the difference. Of course, I will notice the difference, uh, okay? So uh, if you need extra help or you need me to let you know, hey, can you be a little more specific or clearer about what I need to change? Um, I'm happy to do that, okay? Keep in mind, though, during the weekends and during the evenings, no matter what day of the week it is, uh, no promises that I'm going to be able to uh, help you as I have a life, too, okay? Uh, so that's what's due this week. Journal and your new redone narrative, okay? That is all I got for you guys today. Short and sweet little video. You can look at your announcement for all these details uh, as well. And I will see you next week. Later. Bye-bye.